Hey, it's Jim again at Parts Grabber. What we're going to do now is show you how to create your files to upload to Parts Grabber. Now, if you've chosen not to participate in the real time inventory program, what you can do is create Excel sheets that contain all of your inventory information or all of your catalog information, upload it to Parts Grabber as often as you like, and then the Parts Grabber system will display it to buyers and it will show when your most recent update was. So, again, if you're not participating in our real time inventory program, uh, we encourage you to update your uploads as often as possible and this system makes it very easy to do. So we're going to be covering two lists. One list is the inventory selling list which of course applies to a vendor or a manufacturer and that's the list of items that you actually want to sell on Parts Grabber. It's going to show the part number, the description, whatever price you want to sell it for. And of course the manufacturer in creating their catalog list has the ability to display their part numbers, the authorized description for each part number, that way their resellers can capture the correct information for that part number and they can also show their authorized or recommended pricing such as jobber, wholesale and retail if they choose to show it. So what we're going to do is jump right into things here. We're logged in as a reseller which in this case is Laguna Speed so I'm going to show you how to create your inventory selling list. What we're going to do is go into manage parts and click on upload inventory list. Now if we already had the list made what we would do is just click here and go ahead and upload it but since we haven't yet we're gonna click right here on Excel quick upload guide and you'll end up seeing this document it'll download in Microsoft Word. Um, what it shows you here is your you must set up your Excel sheet to have a header row and that header row is gonna give a name for each column which will then tell Parts Grabber what data follows below in that column so that we can display the information correctly. Um, so the first column is going to be called part number with no spaces. The second column will be called manufacturer. The third column is condition which will be new, used, or refurb, REFB. Uh, the description which can be really anything you want. It can be the manufacturer's authorized description plus any special ordering instructions you may have for the item. The quantity is your quantity on hand. If you choose not to show quantity, enter a quantity of zero and it will display on Parts Grabber as call. And then finally the price. And price field works similar to the quantity field. You can put a price in and you don't need to use dollar signs. You'll notice down here it just says put it in in this format. So if you wanted to you could just put in 10.0 and it would be $10. 100.0 will be $100. If you want your prices just to say call, enter a 0.00, .00 in the field or just a plain old zero. And then what will happen is when you upload that list to parts grabbers it will just say call. We understand that some vendors just simply don't want to post their price. So that's how you create your Excel file and if you want to see what the file looks like, here we go. This is Laguna Speed's file. Now this scrolls way down. It's got almost 10,000 part numbers on it, but mainly we're going to look at the header row. Uh, again, here's that first column that says part number. Here's the second column, manufacturer, condition, description, quantity, and price. And then what follows below, uh, and the, of course the part number is pretty self-explanatory. All the fields below that are part numbers. And then here's the manufacturer that matches that part number, again, to make sure the information listed in Parts Grabber is correct. And of course, we identify parts by part number and manufacturer because many manufacturers share the same part number. So if we have both, we know we have the right part. The condition, uh, as stated before, can be new, it can be used, or refurb. If you'd like to make it refurb, spell it R-E-F-B, and that'll apply more to manufacturers that are moving, let's say there's a return stock that they can't sell new, but it's almost as good as new, they can label it as refurb, that way people understand it's refurb. The description field, again, is whatever you'd like to put in the description field. If you're a manufacturer, it might be your full authorized description of that item, it might show the vehicle that it fits, anything you like. Same thing with the reseller, and you can also add your special ordering instructions here. The quantity, again, you can fill it with the zeros and it will display as call within Parts Grabber. And the price, and again, if you put zero in the price field, it will also display as call. So you have the ability to show as much or as little information as you want. One more important thing to note about these files is on the very bottom of the file, you'll notice that it says Sheet 1 right here. It has to say Sheet 1 with no spaces. If you decide to rename this, like you can actually click here and rename the file let's say you put uh, parts 1 and you change that this file will not upload to parts grabber it must say sheet 1 with no spaces now that is the default setting for Microsoft Excel so keep in mind if you've changed this make sure you change this back to sheet 1 the actual name of the file itself you could name it anything you want that doesn't matter um, the preferred format is my Microsoft Excel 2003 
However, even the new XLSX documents will work. So going back to the parts grabber screen, that's the upload guide, and you've seen an example of how you create your file and what the file looks like when it's done. And of course, to upload the file, we've created another tutorial that shows you how to do that, so please be sure to view that tutorial. If you have any questions, always feel free to call us. If you're a manufacturer, um, again, the manufacturer has the ability to upload another list, and that list is the catalog list. So we're going to go ahead and bring over the screen for a manufacturer, and in this case, it's Holly Performance. Now we're going to click Manage Parts, and you'll notice that there's a different option here. It's not just Upload Inventory List, there's another one that says Upload Parts Catalog. And if we click there, there's another quick upload guide for uploading your parts catalog. And it's the same concept, the only difference is the fields are a little bit different. Um, for a manufacturer, the catalog information, it shows the part number, it shows the description, and again, that's your authorized description of the parts, so any reseller that wants to can capture that information and have the correct description, which is huge. Um, the wholesale price, the jobber price, and the retail price. In these cases, as a manufacturer, it's important to understand that whatever pricing you put here, this does not mean that you're posting it for sale for this price on Parts Grabber. That is strictly whatever is on your price sheet. A lot of resellers use that as a reference point. A lot of times people want to know what jobber is for a certain part. So if you put prices in these fields, by no means does it imply that you're selling it for these prices. That simply just means that's what your suggested prices are. So what we're going to do is go ahead and look at Holly's sheet. And of course, looking at Holly's catalog list, it does look similar to an inventory selling list, except the fields are a little bit different. In this case, the first field is part number, then we have description, and the description is long, it goes way back. We can scroll all the way over and see a very long description. So the manufacturer is going to have a very keyword rich description, and it's going to have all the correct information regarding fitment for that part number, and we encourage that. So the character limit regarding the description field is very high, so feel free to put whatever you like in there. Um, as long as it's correct information. The next three fields, uh, I want to make clear that for manufacturers in their catalog list, it shows a wholesale price and a jobber price and a retail price. This is strictly a place where you can show your suggested pricing for your items uh, in the same way that you would if you were sending out a price list to vendors. So it'll show your wholesale price, your jobber price, and your retail price for each item if you want to show it. If you don't want to show it at all, you can just enter zero in all the fields. Now if you'd like to actually sell product as a manufacturer on Parts Grabber, all you have to do is create an inventory selling list much like a vendor would, which contains the fields part number, manufacturer, condition, description, quantity, and price. And again, that's just your flat out selling price on Parts Grabber. Looking back at Holly's catalog upload page, down at the bottom we have that same Sheet 1, and it must be labeled Sheet 1 to be able to upload. And that concludes how to make your list. And once you have your list done, we have a separate tutorial that shows you how to upload your inventory selling list and how to upload your manufacturer catalog list. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 888-44-FIND-IT or send us email at info at parts-grabber.com.